Hello everyone, welcome you all for the lecture series in the subject machine learning with Python. So in this lecture series, previously we have seen about one algorithm in the clustering. We all know the clustering is an unsupervised learning algorithms. So previously we have discussed about the k-means algorithm. So I hope you have understand by seeing those videos. Uh, I have explained with the uh, along with the example also and here also we are going to discuss in this video we are going to discuss about the Gaussian mixture model algorithms. This is also one of the algorithm which we are going to see today. This uh, DMM that is a Gaussian mixture model algorithm which is a probabilistic model which we are using for the clusters as well as based on the density estimations. So by the image, you can see about the original unclustered data, which all have the data points of blue color. And in the clustered data points, we can able to see some of the cl clusters with the different colors. So that is the data is generated from the clusters of several Gaussian components, which we are representing in the distinct cluster values. OK, how this uh, algorithm is based, uh, working may, may be based on the probabilities of the data points which we are allowing into the multiple cluster. Okay, let me explain the key components of this Gaussian mixture algorithm. So we have to know about the mean covariance and the mixing coefficients phi. What this mean will uh, does in these uh, probability al algorithms, that is each Gaussian distribution in this mixture has its own mean value, which determines the center of the clusters. So again, we are going to deal with the clustering only. So we have to know what is the center of this cluster. Next one is the covariance, which gives the shape and the covariance. Oh, sorry, which gives the shape and orientations of each Gaussian distributions. Next, we are going to deal with the mixing coefficients, which gives the weights assigned to the each Gaussian distributions, where which indicates the proportions of data belonging to the each cluster. And this GMM treats each clusters as a Ga Gaussian distributions and uh, fits these distributions to the uh, data which uses the probabilities. So use unlike the hard clustering method, which means what we have seen in the previous one, that is the k-means value, this will deals with the soft clustering. That means a data point belongs to the multiple clusters with the different probabilities. Okay, this is some of the difference which we have find out from the GMM and k-means. Uh, based on some features, if it if, if we are assuming this clustering approach, we can go with the Gaussian, that is the GMM as the soft clustering, whereas uh, K-means, which is the hard clustering algorithm. Then uh, based on the cluster shapes, we can easily handle the ellipsoid clusters by varying size, especially there it is the spherical one. Then the assignment, uh, assignment uh, in the GMM, the data points have the probability for belonging to the clusters, whereas here it belongs to the single clusters. Flexibility is also uh, may plays the uh, major role in the GMM and K-means K clustering. The model's complex data distribution will happen in the GMM, whereas in the K-means works best with these well-separated and these simple data. And the parameters we have used in the GMM is mean, covariance, and uh, mixing coefficients, whereas in k-means uh, clustering, we are completely uh, depends on the centroid point. So yeah, we have uh, discussed that is it is completely on the Gaussian distribution. So we have certain formulas for this uh, Gaussian model. First one is the probability density functions. We all know this uh, basic formula in the probability uh, density that is a PDF. So Gaussian distributions will be mathematically defined by means of the f, f, uh, f of x given by mu to sigma square, which is equal to 1 by root of 2 pi sigma square with the exponential of minus x minus mu square divided by 2 sigma square. And those parameters will be explained, those variables, what we have used in the formulas will be explained down. And the second one is the mixture of Gaussians. Again, we are explained by means of the uh, formula. Uh, P of x, which is equal to summation k equal to 1 to capital K, then pi K, N, and X given by the mu K and summation K. Again, the variables what we have used in the formulas will be explained in the wordings there. 
and the third one is the parameters which we have discussed in the previous slide also we have three parameters one is mean covariance and mixing coefficients and the final fourth one is likelihood functions this likelihood functions is the uh, joint probability of all the possible data uh, where we are going to deal with the uh, number of points and the maximum maximizing this likelihood uh, is the key to find out the optimal parameters and uh, this is the easy understanding uh, a picturized uh, explanation of this gmm so in this step one randomly initialize the gaussian values so we can able to see this uh, has two functions of blue and pink color and the second one is calculate the responsibility that is probability of belongings those data points that is the points which we have assigned on this values which belongs to either blue category or the pink category that is the uh, probability of belongingness for each point and the third and the next step we can see that uh, which has some probabilities which we can uh, able to visualize in the how much it belongs to blue how much it belongs to a uh, pink pot for example if, if we are considering this point the 60 percentage of this data belongs to the blue category and the 40 percentage of the data belongs to the pink category in the step three considering the responsibility calculated in the previous step now figure out whether the most appropriate gaussians Next, in the step four, uh, we are checking for the final model is uh, optimized and we are getting the final models. If not, repeat the step two and step three till we uh, reach the final point. When there is no significant changes, we can stop at this point and reach go, go to the results. And uh, repeat the uh, step two and step three, we uh, reach the convergence. So this is the final point, what we are going to reach here after uh, doing the iteration also. And this is some of the limitations of GMM, which has the sensitivity to initialization. So poor initializations will lead to convergence at the local optimum points. And the next uh, limitations is the computational complexity. So which uh, the optimization which we are using uh, with the EM algorithm, which can be computationally incentives. And the challenges what we are facing with the high dimensional data. This is also difficulty due to the uh, curse of dimensionality in this GMM. So I hope you have understand some of the concepts in this GMM algorithm and how the um, workflow of this algorithm is going on. So with some other interesting topic, we can discuss in the next upcoming videos. Thank you.